We're back here at Maryland Spring Sports Media Day with the head coach of Maryland Tennis, Katie Darty And Katie, already underway. You guys, I, under the radar, just start playing in like the middle of January. Um, you know, 4-1, and one, had a pretty good start. What have you seen from your team so far that gets you excited for the rest of the year? You know, we're, we're happy with where we are. Um, you know, this, this time last year, I mean, we were really climbing out of the depths of hell, to be honest. You know, we, we'd, we'd finished last in the Big Ten, and we had such a great, you know, 22, and, and then we're just building. Um, you know, we're a veteran group, no freshmen. We got a six year senior, we got a fifth year senior that know how to get it done. And we've had a hot start. Um, you know, tough one against UNC, who's the number two team in the country. They're just outstanding and a little too deep for us. But we're happy with where we are, beat a good Utah team um, on, on Saturday night. And, happy with where we are overall. You sort of led me into it there. You must love having a veteran laden team where you can kind of roll the ball out as it were and you kind of know they know how to get it done. What has that been like to try to elevate them past where they've been previously? The mature. Um, we don't have to deal with you know some of the younger nonsense stuff that you sometimes have to deal with um, you know just little discipline stuff that just doesn't exist which is great because it's just another layer we don't have to deal with and it can just be all about the tennis and and getting better and competing and you know the locker room's in a really good spot um, you know we spend a lot of time bonding and, and getting to know each other and communicating and you know we just got to keep keep getting better on the court the Big Ten, I, you know, tennis is so much talked about, you know, the Southern schools are good, the West Coast schools are good, but the Big Ten has depth everywhere, and, and you've shown that. Where do you see yourself fitting into that league as you, as you said, you know, a couple of years ago, you finished at the bottom, but then you built in 22, now in 23, where do you feel like you get in the, in the conference? Yeah, I think, you know, we finished top, top half last year, and I think getting into that fifth, fourth spot is where we'd like to be. You know, and that's that's going to be a tournament team as well. And um, you know, in tennis, we don't play everyone, so we don't play Michigan or Michigan State this year, so we don't get to you know have a good look at them. And Michigan's top 25, but I like where we're looking. I like where we're headed. We stay healthy. You know, I think that's very doable. You have Selma Kader at the top of your your lineup there, who brings you a ton of experience. You know, what does she do at number one that sets the tone for everybody else against the other team's best player? I feel like that's such a big spot where you you go out there and you're you're throwing punches with the other team's I best mean, player every week. You nailed it. I mean, she's just just a great competitor um, you know she's not gonna let a ball get past her I mean you've never seen someone work so hard and it's in practice it's in every match I mean she just competes that's that's her secret weapon you know and she's developed a couple more weapons I mean she was here all summer training competing and um, you know she's she's a leader on and off the court especially just with how she conducts herself so professional and just so scrappy and um, you know an unbelievable fighter and it just spread throughout the team. Excited to watch the, the girls play for the rest of the year. Go out to the Junior Champions Tennis Center. Look at UMTerps.com. Go support Coach Darty and her team. Katie Darty, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Go Terps.